a concierge health advisor at your service. Gee. Anyway, the service is there. And here's just one indication of um, what I do know what's going on with our celebrities. No disrespect, just uh, out of love, even though if for some of them I don't really love them that much, uh, I'm, I'm picking the ones that I know of, and they are talented. Let's face it, they're a talent, okay? And today, Lady Gaga. Yes, very talented, very talented influencer to the max of our culture. Woo-wee. So, Lady Gaga um, apparently has... Um, fibromyalgia and um, oh, awareness and oh, genetic uh, this and that well Lady Gaga and those fans and uh, fellow sufferers of um, fibromyalgia not this fellow sufferer but you know from Lady Gaga uh, yes um, it's not genetic it's not ever genetic uh, fibro, fibromyalgia is uh, just one particular um, set of symptoms that come with particular micronutrient deficiencies. Uh, there's different uh, myalgias, myalgias you know, there's um, different forms of myalgia, but fibromyalgia is uh, one of those with a particular type of um, symptom cluster, uh, symptom, uh, particular symptoms that come along with uh, you know, fibromyalgia, right? So, um, what usually is the case with fibromyalgia, amongst others, uh, all the, uh, a lot of other autoimmune diseases, which people will say, ah, oh, it's just the chance occurrence, the body's attacking it itself, really? Um, it's not genetic, it's not um, environmental. A little bit environmental, where you know, if it, if it means uh, getting not enough uh, micronutrients, yeah, it is um, environmental in that respect. So micronutrients is the big, uh, big elephant in the room. That's something about oh, I think. And um, so the num uh, the high probability markers, and usually what you will find in people that are suffering from fibromyalgia and the whole family of that sort of class of symptoms and illnesses is either what's happening with Lady Gaga and Lady Gaga personally if you're if you're hearing this hey I'm here to try and help out um, yes it's a maybe you can perceive it as a clickbait thing and whatever that, that's, that's fine but here's the deal it's highly possible that you're um, micronutrient deficient in these three main micronutrients vitamin B1 otherwise known as uh, thiamine also perhaps selenium the mineral called selenium uh, the mainstream healthcare complex would like to indicate that you can overdose on selenium you can't really overdose on vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and essential fatty acids, um, your body tends to just pee it out, just eliminate it if you're getting too much, um, you yeah, know, the liver processes uh, how much you can process, and uh, it goes, uh, you know, the pharmaco, pharmacokinetics, uh, the nutriokinetics, the uh, Dynamics, so neut neutro dynamics, it gets into the cells where it needs to go. All those co cofactors that go along with um, those micronutrients, and what you don't need gets peed out. Or, um, you know, number two is right. So, I'm not sure how you can um, overdose. There, there's all these recommended daily uh, intakes and all that sort of thing as well. Uh, it's complicated. It's a little bit complicated, um, so that's those little thoughts. So, thiamine, selenium. Oh, gee, what's the other one? Oh dear. But what, um, before I think about uh, the third one, the third main one, uh, there might be several others, but these are the main micronutrient deficiencies or markers or um, indicators. Like, uh, if well, heaven forbid, if uh, Lady Gaga passed away. If there was an uh, autopsy done to examine uh, the micronutrients, um, she may be deficient in. Um, so 
Millennium Vitamin B1 R. And as I'm talking, it came to me. Uh, vitamin, vitamin E. Vitamin E is the other uh, possible micronutrient deficiency that Lady Gaga and other fibromyalgia sufferers might be deficient in. And that's why you have the cluster of symptoms that equals fibromyalgia. Not genetic, okay? So, and what goes along with um, particularly those three and others in the whole micronutrient complex is uh, it, will, it, it, it may mean that uh, you, you're getting enough. You're getting enough in your diet. Um, there's, a, there's a saying that Doc Wallach um, has indicated before, like, uh, you aren't what you eat, it's what you absorb. So this is where absorption comes in. If you're not absorbing, even though, even if you're getting enough, even if you're supplementing, it may not mean that uh, you're getting everything you need. Even if you take calcium tablets, it may not mean that, um, that you're getting enough. You need to absorb it as well. So, he's a big granddaddy in the room. Usually when you have fibromyalgia, it is, I like to say 99%, 99% certain, certain that uh, that particular sufferer um, has a higher than normal uh, sensitivity to gluten. Yes, I said it again. I keep on saying it in, in this uh, celebrity health commentary series. That um, if you're micronutrient deficient, it is highly probable, likely suggested uh, that you check it out. Well, it's actually hard to check out in uh, the, how the mainstream tests for um, gluten intolerance because they'll do the whole um, yeah, different forms of testing, but usually uh, uh, with gluten. very intolerant for it to come up positive but basically 98% of us will be gluten insensitive not intolerant we can tolerate a lot of gluten we love it in our our fried food and our, our crisps and even our fruit and veg right um, with our fruit and veg like uh, you know we have um, salad sandwiches and all that sort of thing anyway we love our wheat and barley, rock, rye and oats and our processed foods and now these days ultra processed foods are uh, very um, gluten laden, uh, very gluten, um, mo most of our junk food especially is, uh, is, is gluten grains because the gluten grains are cheaper to produce. One of the reasons why the human race went from uh, millet as our staple grain to wheat this happened 5,000 years ago around, around say 3,000 BC was because wheat was able to be stored for multiple years a bit more resistant it was uh, cheaper per currency unit to produce and it became our new staple food and it still pretty much is and we are suffering since that time 5,000 years ago uh, that's what's happening most likely with Lady Gaga. So Lady Gaga, even if you are, by chance, uh, gluten-free, yeah. Oh, I've got the best people in the, in the know. Uh, they put me on gluten-free and I'm gluten-freeing myself. Let me tell you, if your gluten-free diet includes oats, yes, I've said this often as well in this series, you're also getting gluten. Uh, the, the, the gluten in oats is called gliadin. And because it's called gliadin, oh, it, it, it's gluten free. Yeah. So the gluten, the main gluten grains is uh, wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Okay. So you get off the oats as well, Lady Gaga, and other um, gluten free pursuers, eaters, uh, gluten free diet people. Get rid of the oats as well. and you'll find that uh, ooh, I'm even better. My symptoms are even are clearing up even more. That's because you're probably absorbing more. Absorbing more of your micronutrients. So, even though Lady Gaga doesn't look like she suffers uh, too much from the fi fibromyalgia, um, many, many stars have different illnesses and um, they don't look like they're, they're suffering and they look they still look fantastic and all that. Yes, 
Lady Gaga is looking fantastic. And one other indication that Lady Gaga is suffering from uh, possibly multiple um, nutrient deficiencies is the yo-yo weight loss and gain. Sorry to say, but um, usually uh, weight loss and gain, uh, you know, multiple yo-yos in your weight management indicates um, micronutrient deficiency as well. Uh, if you become upper range overweight, um, even towards obesity, very highly likely, even if um, you're very willpowered, very strong with your, um, very tough with your uh, willpower to not go for those cravings, you're still not out of the woods, you still may be deficient in chromium and vanadium, and most likely zinc, because um, people with um, weight management issues, particularly obese people, are deficient in those three minerals, and yeah, basically don't go out and buy those three, I've been on this field before on this uh, celebrity series too, don't buy those three minerals and expect miracles because um, it probably won't happen. You need to go off the gluten plus another three classes of food, which is part of um, uh, part of the plan that um, I advocate for people. Depending on what age group you are, what uh, so what age, uh, weight, condition, complex, um, history, uh, also gender, uh, also what your do current diet is, uh, consists of, uh, what you need more or less of, that sort of thing, and all those factors um, get shaped into looking your best, and uh, that's why I feel, um, even though I, I'm not looking uh, as good as a, a, a star, but uh, I tell you what, I'm heaps better than what I used to be, and it was, uh, I, I could have easily blamed the genes on my um, obesity, my starting to look a bit shabby for my age, uh, I'm now 49, just uh, as a bit of a reference um, how I'm doing, uh, let's compare notes in 10 years, 30 years uh, against your guru, your health gurus, and let's see, I don't expect any vindication, but uh, yeah, it'll hopefully be around this uh, particular video and maybe people can reference it in, you know, 25 years, oh, Anyway, um, that's it. That's some of the thoughts. So Lady Gaga, highly likely uh, vitamin B1, thiamine, vitamin E, and selenium deficiency. Uh, highly likely, I'd say probably for sure, based on weight up, up and downs. Oh, you just got to exercise more. Well, I've said this often as well. Exercise uh, can probably exacerbate downstream uh, weight issues and uh, illnesses because when you exercise you sweat and your sweat is, isn't just fluid and electrolyte loss it is the whole complex of uh, lost nutrients micronutrients so uh, that's it uh, I'm not going to go too too long even if uh, Lady Gaga you, you address um, your fibromyalgia is well managed it can be cured but if, even if it's well managed I, I, I do wish you a success if this is dismissed or her fans dismiss it or whatever so be it but I've tried to help out and that's it bye bye